Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another update for the 20 favorites in 2020. And this project was set up by Denise from Just Some Makeup Pants. So I will have her Instagram linked down below. She is doing it again next year, but it'll be 11 favorites in 2020. The next update is the finale. So those of you who watch my channel know I did two big massive year long projects, 20 favorites in 2020, which I did not do rolling style which were 20 products and Team Project Pan, which was rolling style and to finish. I have one more empty to share with you today and then I'll count up and we'll see how much we're, we're left working on. So we'll start with the empties and then I'll show you everything else. I don't think there is much left. Oh no, I have two empties to share with you today. So the first one is my concealer. This is the La Collection Lasting Perfection in Fair One. This is a beautiful medium coverage concealer and I really, really enjoyed it. The stopper is out. Um, I can't get any more out of it. I don't know if you can see all the windows. I tried sticking something down in it to pull the product out, but it was then dry. Like there's nothing more that will come out. I should hold it up to a light maybe to show you. I don't know, but it's empty anyway, and I would repurchase this, but I do have other concealers and I actually enjoyed for the first time in like my whole makeup life wearing more than one concealer at any given time. So that is going into my empties and I would repurchase in the future if they still sell it. Do they still sell this? The other empty that I have is this contour stick from Smashbox and I just can't any more out of it. I can't sharpen it anymore, like it's a hole in it now. That is it. It just scratches my face. I can't do any more. It was 33 euros for six of these sticks. For, it was 33 euros for three of these sticks. A contour shade, which was this one, a bronzer shade and a highlighter shade, which is like a concealer pretty much. Uh, a brightening shade. I really, I love this. It's so great, like right under there and lose three stone off your body. <laughs> no, it just, it's so great. It's so irritating. Now I'll be able to try the lipstick to see, to see if it works. But um, yeah, I really liked this. I'm kind of sad it's gone. This next product was for liquid lipstick and I chose the Tartiest Lip Paint in Pillow Talk. It is a really light cover color and it is still 17 grams. The stopper is still in it. And it won't be finished by the end of the year, but you know, I can still get windows. I actually really like this. I've been wearing this a lot lately as like all over lip color, which I thought would be like too fair. Whereas before I had been wearing like a deeper brown. What I have been doing is pairing another lipstick with this, but putting it on the, putting the deeper shade on the outside. It is a dry formula. It is not the driest liquid lipstick that I've ever used, but I just, I really enjoy it and it's still here. It'll be here next year as well. But that's where I am with that one. For primer, the only primer I had in January was this Smashbox primer. It is the photo finish one. It also still weighs 35 grams and like that's where I am with this one. And you know, it is a pore filling primer. It's quite expensive. It does last a long time. It's 30 mils in it or one fluid ounce. I only wear this when I'm going somewhere because for me it is, I don't have an abundance. So it would be a waste in my mind to pore fill at home. I'm not worried about it going off or anything. It is a relatively new primer to my collection, but that's where I am with that. This next one is my NARS powder. And before you have a Juicy Lizzy conniption, uh, I'll show you where it was the last time. There is no point in weighing this one and you'll see there was big, massive, juicy, loosey, pan, you, wool in it. it, is the translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder in pressed. Seven grams, I can't believe I got that right the first time. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so yeah, so you see the Juicy Lucy Panule? Well, now it's not gone, okay, it's not gone. It is gone out of here because I could do no more with her, no more. Sorry for being disruptive. So I put it into this, cause that's all I had to put it into. And this is all that's left in here. Guys, I am really reserved with this. As in like, I will dip my brush in and I'll tap it off on the lid. Nothing gets to waste here. I just can't get it to be fine. I have like pressed and pressed and pressed with my depotting tool and it's still in crumbly pieces. It is not nice like this. But you guys were saying under no circumstances do you repress this. And I would say it's because of these crumbly pieces that I would have repressed into crumbles. It's not a fine powder. But like it actually took me, 
I ended up like it wasn't long after the last update that I ended up having to do this. So this powder has taken me actually a really long time to use loose. Wait, the last two are lip products and for lip liner I chose this MAC lip, lip what? This MAC lip liner in Whirl. I just like neuter brown lip liners. I'm sure you're sick of me saying this, but my favorite lip liner is the Rimmel Cappuccino. And I had just finished that. That was the last lip liner I finished, so I didn't want to do it again. So here's the MAC one. It is a kind of a warmer tone one. It's now no longer a big, big pencil. I will show you on a piece of paper. Let me just kind of put it on my hand. There it is there. That is dried down now. It's not uncomfortable, but it's very dry. So that's that lip liner there. It is warm on me. 1.4 grams in the pencil. And then the lipstick is the ColourPop Matte Lippy Stick in Girl Gang. I chose this because I accidentally received two and nude browns are my favorite, but it is a darker nude brown than I would like typically wear. But yeah, you know, I'm not gonna roll it up all the way actually, but I will swatch it for you. This is a deep ass shade. I'm gonna try this as a contour shade. I'd say if anything, it'd be a deep bronzer, not a contour, but like, look, let me just try it, you know, cause it's perfectly shaped for what I was telling you guys about. Piece of paper time. So there is the MAC Whirl. It's just gone down an itty bitty bit. And then this is the ColourPop Girl Gang. It's such a messy piece of paper. So what that means guys is that I have finished 15 out of 20 so far. I have five left. I don't think I can actually, the, the only one I can see myself potentially hitting my goal on is this one here, which would mean that I would reach 16 out of 20 in this project alone, which I'm actually pretty happy with considering how much I'm doing. So that's, I'm pretty happy with that. So are you guys doing 11 favorites in 2020 or what are you doing? Uh, is there any other project that you're doing? I'm thinking I'm doing the team project, Pan. like I'm stuck. I don't want to be overwhelmed, but I like team project Pan and I like 11 favorites in 2020. What are you guys doing? That is my update. Uh, the next one is the finale. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you the next time. Take care, bye.